Basically, what I'm saying is the Holy Spirit is our new operating system, and these are the words. This is the code, the programming code. But I, the seven byproducts are, are amazing. In fact, I highlighted them. Uh, let's see if uh, the highlight doesn't come out very well. But we've been justified. Remember soteriology? The byproducts of justification are, number one, peace with God. Number two, we have unlimited access by faith. Because without faith, it's impossible to please him. So we have to, by faith, come and, and partake, believing that, that in the account is everything God promised would be in there. In other words, uh, you know, the ATM card is given to us, the promise is made, the funds are there. We have to go and, and, and withdraw. That's what it means by faith. And then we have grace to stand, and we can only stand by the grace of God. We realize that what have we, uh, everything we have is not of ourselves. It was given to us. That's what grace is all about. It's what we don't deserve, what we can't do, what we couldn't accomplish. And so we stand in the grace of, of the imputed righteousness of Christ, and it causes us to have this rejoicing hope. Now, I was, uh, I was challenged to pray for a friend of mine, a dear friend of mine, because they said, I have, a, I have a close friend who came to me and said, my life hasn't turned out the way I hoped it would. And I thought, how tragic. If they're a believer... Life, life is turning out far better than I hoped it would because I have ever, the best is yet ahead. It doesn't matter how much this clay pot wears out, cracks, and, and, and becomes inoperable because I am rejoicing in hope of what is yet to come. Did you know people that say my life isn't turning out like I hoped are sometimes facing the wrong direction? They're looking back at when they were young and had everything possible and, and every you know, desire, and they're looking back at that and what they need to, salvation actually turns us around and we're looking in a different direction. And we are actually saying, it's getting, like it says in Proverbs, that the, that the, the, the new day dawns brighter and brighter every day for the righteous because we're looking toward, toward our heavenly city that has foundations and to the place prepared for us, which is far better than this place that we already know, if you've read Revelation, what's going to happen to it. So we're headed this way. Where does that come from? We rejoice, we're filled with joy because of hope. And where does that come from? It comes from knowing that, and then there's all this stuff, that hope does not disappoint. Why? Because it's connected to loving God, and that is poured out in our hearts, and all of this comes by our operating system, the Holy Spirit. So, peace with God. Do you have any lack of peace in your life? It's... it's it's not God's problem, it's ours. It's a connection. It's kind of like, uh, you know, Bonnie and I were somewhere on this trip, and she said to me, honey, how come you're getting Wi-Fi and I'm not? And I said, okay, here. I said, go to the little gear thing and hit that. And I said, and go to that page. Do you see? Your little green on is not. Push it. And it went green. She went, okay. You see, there, that is what discipleship in phone and spiritual life is all about. If you don't have peace with God, you can do a diagnostic. It, it's produced by the Holy Spirit. Let's trace where the connection isn't there. If you don't have access, if you don't understand what all is available, you need to connect to the Holy Spirit. If you are not standing uh, confidently in the grace of God and not a performance-based, you know, trying to make God happier by doing more, if you are not overflowingly rejoicing in hope and not despairing that life isn't turning out the way you want it, but you're rejoicing in hope of the glory of God. That's what you look forward to. And if you don't know that God's hope in you will never disappoint you, then his love is not being poured out because there's some, some lack of connection. And see, that's, that's the... And by the way, there's nothing wrong with turning your Wi-Fi and everything else off when you're on an airplane. It's just, you know, they tell you about 10 different things you're supposed to do. And you might forget you turned it off. And it's very much what discipleship is about, that, that we, some element of what these byproducts are, something in life has caused that to click off, and there's nothing wrong with sitting next to someone and saying, do you want me to show you again how I have peace with God, how I have access how I know for sure and rejoice knowing that, that all of the struggles of life are turning out and I'll never be disappointed because I've invested my life with God. See, that's, that's the first century. Early church we read about 
it was as natural for them to talk about the byproducts of justification as it is for elderly people to discover a flashlight and help each other. Because the early church was experiencing this stuff. And they wanted those that came to Christ not to miss any of the blessings. And so that's, that's what discipleship is, is all about. 